Hezi fume kedoto. Na na yekuti kumado. Nje mwondu usha sikie. Angenga za iti itele organization ni kusakoni yuki. Kumushobe zikote sako. Because we must protect the MK with everything we have. Don't join MK, then you see yourself as a leader. You go into a hotel, you sit with all the people, you are discussing that Umsholos must not be a leader. Who must lead? Who is Kuman? Where does it come from? In this revolution, we don't know Kuman. But in this revolution, we know Umsholos. Umsholos has been an NEC of the ANC for more than 60 years. He's the most senior comrade in South Africa, including our Portuguese. Hello there guys and welcome to Daily Updates. Travel in paradise inside the MK Party camp and that travel resulted in the expulsion of a co-founder, Mr. Chawila Nikumalo. Together with Jacob Zuma, they came with this concept of MK Party and allegedly, uh, Chawila Nikumalo is the one who went further to open MK Party to register it with the IEC on behalf of Jacob Zuma. So now Chawila Nikumalo has been expelled from the party uh, together with the four others and the reason for that are not properly being provided but allegations coming out is that they are causing friction inside the party so that that was the only way for them to be put aside so that order can be retained they expelled them so there's a picture of Jawulan Kumalo sitting next to uh, an over a million rent car and reports are saying that well he's been bought there are more allegations to him that they are buying him so that he can cause tension in the mk party and actually maybe result in the deregistration of the mk party with the iec because they are saying that once mk party goes on as normal we are going to see flames so the only way to destabilize mk party is to find someone who can be able to be compromised compromised enough to be able to sell mk party which resulted in Jacob Zuma deciding, we put you aside, we proceed as normal. We wait to hear what Jacob Zuma says because so far, the only person who has done an interview is Jabulan Kumalo, who actually said that he doesn't know of any expulsion. From his side, he knows that he has to meet with Jacob Zuma so that they can speak about these issues. But the fact that he's expelled, he doesn't know anything like that. And even... Um, Jacob Zuma's daughter went further to even say that there's no such thing as a meeting between us. We don't know you. And he, she even went further to speak about there are no two bulls in one kraal. So you can just see that there is trouble. And the only way for them to avoid embarrassment before the election was to say that we put you aside, Mr. Jabulani Kumalo. And if you are going to scare us with uh, the issue of saying that you are going to deregister, you can think again because there are also threats to MK party um, by someone saying that, well, what if we go to court and report you and say that, well, you attain those uh, signatures fraudulently so that that might result in the MK party being put aside, the IEC or the court saying, well, there is a lot of fraudulent activities inside the MK camp. But as, as the look of things, it does look like if not handled properly, MK might just be another disappointment. So what they need to do is to really deal with the issues. If indeed his expulsion is because of the fact that he has been conspiring with some other people on the side to minimize the power of MK, well, they have every right to do what they did. And really, if that's what happened, they have to go there and prove to the public, actually publish it and say that this is what he did. And this is what he was being advised to do. And mind you, we can't be surprised that there are parties or there are people from outside who will try and destabilize MK Party. Not only MK Party, a lot of leaders are going to be bought from many other political parties because you know what? Some people don't want to lose power. Some people don't want to lose votes. So if there is another person who's going to take their votes, the best thing to do is to play dirty. Use money to get people because they know that people can be convinced by money. Take some few rents, some few millions, someone will forget what their plan was. 
So Jacob Zuma has decided, Jabulani, you are on the side. We might expect another court battle between Jacob Zuma and Jabulani. I wouldn't be surprised if Jabulani goes ahead and take MK party to court. You know, politicians, they always run to the courts. I wouldn't be surprised if that, that is another battle that is coming. But you go again and think about it. Another another media coverage for Jacob Zuma and MK party. But this time, the coverage is because the infighting are happening inside the MK camp. Can they really go and resolve these issues and deal with uh, what is on hand, which is the election? Because if they are going to focus on these fights, it is not going to be good for MK party. Some parties are there smiling, thinking that, well, if it's an own goal, we might capitalize. You must not be surprised if you hear that Jabulan Kumalo has went back home. Jabulan Kumalo has gone back to another party because they are playing chess. If you are not clever enough, you are going to be left out on the end of the line. So the best way you can do this is to outsmart the others who are fighting against you. Is the expulsion of Jabulan Kumalo a, the best way to do things? What I can say is that if indeed he was compromising the party, it would be best. But if he was being expelled based on allegations, it wouldn't be good. And will Jabulani Kumalo go ahead and deregister MK party? That we wait to see because allegations are, are saying that he has the power to go and deregister since well he's the one who registered. Can he do that? Can we really see the fall of MK party before even the elections come? Or is this, is this just another media parade that is just going to pass and once it's passed, MK is going to continue as normal? We were to see that again. But sitting here, I would, I would really be interested in seeing MK party contesting as a strong opponent so that that which has been planned can happen. That which, which has been planned to minimize the ruling party can happen because if MK party goes there as a weak party, it is going to cause trouble because people are not going to believe in that which MK party is going to do for the nation since they are already fighting amongst themselves. The best way for them to do, address the matter, deal with the matter. If they continue to expel him for good, deal with the matter. But at the end of the day, make sure that dignity and order is retained in the MK party because you go to the election as a weak party, you are going to regret. What they need to do is to restore order. And make sure that they fight as a collective. There is no way that they can be looking at reports of them fighting amongst each other when we are just a few days away from voting. The people need to vote for you when they have the best confidence in you. So Jacob Zuma, MK Party, this is your chance to make sure that you show the country that well, as much as we are fighting, we can be able to provide dignity and order. That is the only time you can do that. Anyway, guys, thank you for tuning into the channel and please subscribe. And until next time, cheers.